while tunnels and bridges traditionally harbour legends of trolls, there are many around the world that contain more realistic supernatural characters, ghosts. There are few things that can be as chilling as walking down an unlit tunnel at night, unless that tunnel is haunted. So let's count down 5 haunted tunnels. The legend of the screaming tunnel in Niagara Falls begins with a young girl that met an unfortunate fate. There are a few versions of this story, but each one agrees that she lived in a farmhouse on the south side of the tunnel. One night her house caught fire and she fled the building with her clothes ablaze. She reached the tunnel before she fell to the ground and that's where she perished. Other tales say she was set on fire deliberately by her raging father. Although each story is different, the outcome is always the same, she screams to death. They say that if you stand in the middle of the tunnel at night and strike a wooden match, the spirit of the girl will become so frightened she'll penetrate the void between our world and the dead with her screams. A gust of wind will then blow through the tunnel and extinguish the flame. This is what draws paranormal enthusiasts to the screaming tunnel every year. The ghost of Victoria Park is said to be a floating nun, reported as being around 10 feet tall. The entity resides in a railway underpass in Brisbane's Victoria Park. The most unusual part of this story is not the ghost, but the reaction of the local population. The ghost was first seen in 1903 and again in 1932, but a sighting in 1965 made the biggest impression. After four sightings in 10 days, reports of the ghost caught the imagination of locals. Around 5,000 people flocked to the area one night. The crowds were so bad that police had to close a nearby road. At 10 p.m., around 1,500 people were packed into the tunnel staring at the walls and waiting for the ghost to appear. The town of Moonville, Ohio would probably be long forgotten if not for its rail tunnel. In fact, if the tunnel wasn't there, the town might never have existed. The tunnel was built when a local landowner offered a shortcut to the rail company building a track toward Cincinnati. This allowed him to haul coal and clay, and a few small settlements sprung up for people to take advantage. Moonville was among them, and its population peaked at about 100 in 1870. The railway around the tunnel seemed almost designed to be a death trap. It was thin and led out onto a trestle above a high canyon that itself was just wide enough to fit the rail tracks. Given that it was a significant shortcut compared to walking around the valley, at least five people died after being hit by trains, the most recent in 1986. The line is no longer in use, except by an infamous phantom. There are a few stories of the ghost's origins. In some versions, he was simply a drunk who took the tunnel as a shortcut home. When he heard a train coming, he waved his lantern at it, but it didn't stop in time. One story says that during a hard winter, the town was running low on supplies. Trains were passing by, but not stopping. So locals hatched a plan to get someone to stand in the tunnel and wave a lamp to stop the train. The person they chose fell asleep and ran into the tunnel too late. The train killed him. The lantern-waving man is still said to be there, trying to flag down trains with his lantern. Some reports say that the rail company installed a signal at the mouth of the tunnel and told drivers to ignore any lights they saw inside. Big Ball Tunnel is a short rail tunnel in Virginia. It's also the home of some particularly nasty entities. Two workers are known to have died in Big Ball. A man was scalped in 1901 and another fell off a train in 1904. Even before that, locals had claimed the tunnel was haunted. The legend became prominent in 1905, when a freight train broke down just outside the entrance. One of the train men tried to hurry back through the tunnel to put warning flags on the other side, but he returned to his two colleagues pale and shaken. He claimed to have heard noises no man could stand. The other two went to investigate, and they heard groans and screams of pain coming from the walls. The bravest of the three asked aloud what was going on. Remove that awful weight from my body came the first reply, before a second voice said, they are drinking my blood. The men tried to find out if someone was playing a trick on them, but they were alone. They made a swift exit, and the local press reported that the story was genuinely credited by others at the time. For around a century, the city of Portland, Oregon was home to an unfortunate practice known as being shanghai Men were kidnapped, locked up, and eventually forced to work on ships sailing to Asia. Women were kidnapped and forced to work as prostitutes. While there's no direct evidence, Local legend says that the victims were transported and held in the underground tunnel system beneath Portland's old town. This legend has made the tunnels extremely popular with ghost hunters. Most people that claim ghostly activity report a woman in a white dress. Others say they hear harsh male whispers, telling them to get out. Another ghost reported by the tunnel's tour guides is Joshua, a nine-year-old boy who used to empty chamber pots for money. The tour guides have a lot of stories of sounds and apparitions. 
so that was 5 haunted tunnels. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.